Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about properties of exponents, and we're going to simplify this problem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. 2h to the third power, j to the negative third power, k to the fourth power, all over 3jk. JK. I don't know if anyone still does that. So, let's look at our coefficients, two-thirds. Well, two divided by three, two-thirds. Can't simplify that anymore, all right? Let's keep going. H to the third, anything in the denominator to simplify with? Nothing really cancels out. We keep H to the third in the numerator. All right, got that done. Now, the J's are next. What are we gonna do with these bad boys? We got J to the negative third over J in the denominator. Hmm, how do we simplify that? Well, negative three, and this is the first power. We subtract that, right? Let's look at the j's. Remember, with division, we subtract the exponents. Negative 3 minus the first power that's right there for the j. And that comes out to be a negative 4, which means j has a positive 4 exponent in the denominator. So we have j to the positive 4 exponent, but it's in the denominator. If we had the numerator, it'd be a negative exponent, but gotta have a positive. Lastly, k to the fourth over k, that's like k to the first power, right? We subtract the exponents, 4 minus 1 is 3, so we have k to the third power in the numerator, but now we're done. Nothing else that we can combine, so our final answer is 2h to the third, k to the third, over 3j to the fourth power. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com